All right, this is the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take this document and apply different styles to it. And the styles menu, of course, is right here with lots of styles to work with. But right now there's no styles applied, which means that they're all set to normal text. And we want to adjust them a little bit. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the title and apply title. And to the byline and apply a subtitle. Now we want to center this on the page. And the best way to do that is to drop it down a few lines. And you can see a ruler on the side if you if you have that turned on. So go to view and make sure the ruler is checked. So you can see where this should be. And we want to bring that down to about, let's see. Let's make sure we get this set to drop that down to about the five inch range. And then take this text and center it. So it looks like a title page. So there you have it. A little bit far down, I think. So I'm just going to bring it back up a little bit more. And just kind of gauging it, I think that feels pretty good. So I've got that lined up with about the four inch mark. So line it, line it up with about four inches. And now the table of contents, all I'm going to do to the table of contents is bold it. All right. Now, if we go here, add a new, front, new line, we're at the top of the page on this one, and we insert at the bottom table of contents with page numbers, nothing happens because nothing's been added to the headers. It says add headings format paragraph styles and they will appear in your table of contents. So the headings on the paragraphs are pretty obvious to identify. So they're each a little bit different. So there's introduction. So just go ahead and use um, heading one. Now the smaller the number in the headings, the bigger the text. So it's kind of inversely logical. So let's make these all heading one and heading one and I don't even, have to, don't even have to select it. I can just click on the line because headings apply to a whole line, to everything on the line. So, for example, if I click on the middle of this paragraph and I make that heading 2, it changes all of it. So we don't actually want that. We're setting an example. So this one is going to be heading 1 also. So now we've got it all set up, and it looks good. Now if we go back to our table of contents and click the little curly cue, that will update the table of contents. Now we have a table of contents with everything on it in the right pages. These page numbers are going to change, though, because our normal text needs to be uh, added some spacing to. So if we go to here and we say format, line spacing, and uh, we can choose double spacing. Spacing and a half works pretty good. Double works. Most teachers are going to want you to use double spacing, double, uh, uh, double space lines, and so that works pretty well. And now if we choose this, nothing else has been changed. Everything else is the same. So we need to make sure that it understands that we're changing the format here. So if we right-click on there and choose um, Update Normal Text to Match. Now every place that we used Normal Text is now going to have double spacing. Okay. Now what we also want to do is, is uh, choose the beginning of the line. Here's how you indent a paragraph. If you just click here, That'll indent the whole thing, which is not what we want. We want to indent only the first line. So if you click this little block here, you're grabbing that little rectangle, drag that to the half inch mark or 0.5. That changes that paragraph only. So we can actually apply that to the rest of the document as well by again right clicking and choose update normal text to match. So now every place that uses that is going to be indented. Now I didn't necessarily want that to apply to my headings. Somehow that happens. So I can take this and update heading ones to match. So somehow it indented all of them. Now they're not. But you can, if you want to, center them. This part is optional for this assignment. You can make them bold if you want to. You can reduce the size. You can remove uh, spacing after the line. So if we take this and make it normal or single or 1.5, now that is going to be closer to the paragraph. But not on all of them because we only did this one. So we can take this one right click and choose update heading one to match. Now all of our headings for heading one are centered, they're close to the paragraph, and they're bold. All right, so that works pretty well. We probably adjusted the line numbers in the process. So we're going to go back up to here, reset this, and now the line numbers have changed. Our document got longer because we added space to the paragraphs. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some pictures. Now to add pictures, you can actually just drag and, drag and drop them, I believe. So if I open up my folder where I put them, I'm going to drag and drop this picture into place. And that's pretty huge. 
and it displaced a whole bunch of text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it, and you can see that it's got uh, some choices here for wrapping the text. We've got it set to wrap text. This is in line. We want to do wrap text. So click that. It still didn't work that great because, um, well, part of the image disappeared. So if you make the image smaller, so if I take this and hold down this and drag down the size, you don't even have to hold down shift to maintain the proportions. So let's try to get that down about two inches wide. So how would I tell two inches? Because my rulers are turned on, and that's, again, view ruler, show ruler. So I'm going to put this right here, someplace like this at the beginning of section two. So this is just an icon picture. Now we're going to put one on the right-hand side. So let's click on the right-hand side. Let's get another picture. Now let's move down a little bit further. Just we've got them through throughout the document. So here we are. Uh, open the image. Drop it in there. It probably drops it wherever it wants to. So I'm going to set this again to wrap text. And it looks like it's wrapped on the, on the one side of the picture. This applies to both sides. And you can drag this any place you want. Now it looks kind of silly in the mirror because the reader's going to have to break reading to go through the picture. So you really only want this on one side or the other. So we can move this down a bit more and let's try to get this about two and a half inches wide. And I'm using this ruler up here to gauge that size. So one, two and a half makes a space. <clears throat> and uh, I'm pretty sure there's a way to add a caption. Let's leave that out for today. So I've got that picture in there and one more picture on the left side. Now, you'll notice this all looks like it's in Latin. This is called ipsum lorem text. So this is not about reading something or writing something. You're learning how to format a document and add pictures. So one more picture right here. Oops, that didn't work. Let's drag that into place. Make sure it's dragging into... There we go. So I missed and opened up a separate program. So let's break that down about size. And... I want to set this to wrap text. Once you're wrapping text, it then moves it a little bit. And I feel like it's cropped or something. If you do want to crop an image, you can click on the crop tool right here. When the image is selected, if it's not selected, it won't do it. So there's a control on there for the size, and there's also these lines in there for the cropping. So if I do this, and then increase the size again and move it over to the side. Now you've cropped the image, you've embedded it in a paragraph, and you've wrapped up the piece. So that's the whole thing. Um, look at only eight minute tutorial. Uh, I'll see you in class today. Have a great morning.